I don't know how this looks, but I'm going through a transition period right now with my hair and everybody's going to need to calm down. I don't want to hear how we, if you don't like it, I don't really care, <laughs> just so you know. It's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about sunscreens and there's some that I just started testing recently. So I am going to share my thoughts with you. I'm always testing new sunscreens out. I've tested a lot out already over the years, especially since living in Florida. And I was looking to try some more at the store and I was like, I, I'm really picky about the ones. I, I could try out all of them if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I just want to try the ones that I'm interested in. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. And if there's any sunscreens that you love that you would recommend for face, body, please share them in the comments. Would really be interested in if you you if there's a specific one that you used to like that you like to wear when you're swimming in a pool too, because that's always an issue with me with my pool. So let's get into it if you follow me on tiktok you've seen this already anyways and i think i shared a quick video on it so i'm going to start out with this first so i love color science i have been using their products for several years there's things of theirs that i love i'm just on another thing in front of me that i love and i picked these up and i oh my god i love these so these are the this is what they're called they're called the sun forgettable total product protection color balm so it's an spf of 50 it's uh, it's 100 percent mineral it's water and sweat resistance so what i love about these and this is what they look like i'll swatch all of them for you too what i love about these is they're sunscreen but they're tinted so you can wear them as makeup oh my god i freaking love these so this one is called berry so this one i've, I've used as my blush i love it but look at how, oh my God, I love it, okay? You can use this on your lips too. And then we've got the bronze. And this has a little metallic in it, but don't let it scare you because it's really pretty. It really, really is. I'm usually not one for metallic, but it's really pretty. And this one is called blush. This one is, is like very subtle, a very subtle blush color. Now I did try these on my eyes to see, oh, I could do a whole look with them. No. Uh, I gotta play around with it a little bit more. I think I could probably use it as a base. I'll have to see if I can use it as a base over my over my primer and then maybe use a powder on it and that way I may be able to use it. But oh my god, these are just I love these. I just love the idea because like I said, you could go to the beach or whatever, just have a day in the summer where you want to look pulled together but you don't want to have like makeup on because you gotta reapply your sunscreen. This, you can reapply it. You can reapply it. You can just put your tinted sunscreen on, you know, all over your face again, and then go on with one of these and apply it. It's not makeup, it's sunscreen. It's freaking amazing. I cannot recommend this more. Love it. And it comes in a whole kit. I don't know if you can get them separately, but I bought mine as a whole kit. Another thing I love of theirs that I've been using for years is this. This is from Color Science. This is their color corrector, powder color corrector. So if you have maybe some redness by your nose or whatever, you have a blemish, you can use these and each one of them on the back is labeled for what it's for. You know, some of them is for purple, brown spots, redness, et cetera, et cetera. It does come with a little brush here. It has an SPF of 20. So this would be great. Again, if you do that whole look, you can use it on your nose just to touch it up so you don't have to wear a foundation. I'm telling you. And this will last you a long time. Love it. I don't have the body color sign sunscreen, but that is my favorite body sunscreen. It doesn't work well in a pool, and it is expensive because you have to remember it's for your body. Sunscreens are expensive, but then you have to remember you're protecting your skin. And I need to mention this really quickly. I usually don't address like comments very often on here. And I actually left the comment. I think it was on the video that I did with the hands when I was talking about the hands, you know, your aging hands. I think that was on the video. Somebody said, I don't use screen, a sunscreen. I don't believe in sunscreen. That's just a gimmick. Blah, blah, blah. The sun is good for you. You have to have the sun. You have to have sun. 
yay for you if you feel that way. I, I've had something removed from my body, so I wear sunscreen. And if you have any common sense, then you know that over sun exposure breaks down the collagen of your skin. So when you see older people that have skin that looks like leather and it's all saggy, a lot of it has to do with the sun. They were exposed to the sun. Our skin's going to sag regardless. I know that. But when you overdo it, you risk getting skin cancer and you also are going to break down your collagen. That's what sun exposure does. It also affects your skin if you are wearing a Retin-A like I do. So if you don't want to wear sunscreen, that's your choice. But I am never going to promote that on my channel. I will never do that. I, I personally think that's really foolish. It's okay to have a little bit of sun. Sometimes when I go for a walk in the morning and I go really early at the crack of dawn do my walks, I don't always wear sunscreen. I don't because I'm like, the sun's like not even coming out yet. Okay, it's still dark here. So I don't. And there's some times that I do like let myself get a little bit. I don't sit out there and bake. But like I might go by my pool and clean it a little bit with my little net and not have sunscreen on. I'm, like, I'm not like, oh my God, in a panic. But. When I'm outside, I'm going to be outdoors for a long period of time, I wear sunscreen. Again, if you don't want to do that, that's your choice, but I'm, I'm going to use it. So I don't believe in all the chemical stuff. I do use mineral sunscreen. I, I just prefer to use it. I feel like, I don't know why, I just, I prefer to use it more over the other, but I don't think it really matters. I'm not even going to get into the EWG and chemicals. I've already shared that. I don't use all clean products. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm just not because that's like a rabbit hole that I almost got sucked into one time and I don't, but I just had to share that with you guys. If you don't want to share sunscreen or wear sunscreen, good for you. That's great. But I never used to wear sunscreen and I had a lot of sun damage on. Again, I had something removed from my body because of that. And since I started wearing sunscreen and since I started taking better care of my skin, I don't have the sun damage that I had. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But you do you, boo. Okay. So again, I really like the Color Science Body Sunscreen. I think it's amazing. It doesn't give you that, oh, that cast that you get, that white cast. It feels like silk on your body. But it is pricey for a body sunscreen. The other one that I really like from... Color Science is this one. You guys have seen me share this. I paid for all this Color Science stuff, just so you know. This isn't a collaboration. I paid for every damn thing you're seeing, okay? If there was a sponsor video or somebody sent me something, you guys know I keep it real and I would have told you that. But this is from Color Science. This is their Sun Forgettable Face Shield. I love it. I have oily skin and this works great for me. It's been a repurchase for me. I freaking, I love this one. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now something I just tried from this from Color Science, I swear it's the last one I'm going to talk about. Actually, there's one more thing. <laughs> there isn't something else I'm going to talk about with Color Science. Two more things, but I have others to share. I got a sample of this and I really liked it, so I bought it. And then when I bought it, I'm like, I don't like it. Do you Have you ever done that? Have you ever got a sample of something, whether it's perfume or a foundation or something, and you're like, oh my God, I got to get it. And then you get it and you're like, I don't like it. That's what happened with this. I don't like it. I'm, I'm going to give it one more try, but I don't know how I feel about it. And this is the Tint Du Soleil. This is from Color Science. This is 30%, uh, a, 30, a 30 SPF in it. This is actually a foundation, but it is very light coverage. I would say it's like a tinted sunscreen, honestly, but it's thicker. So it's not like this one. I'll show you the difference. So this is the, this is the foundation. I'm going to show you. I'm going to blend it. It's very thick feeling. I don't remember the sample feeling like that. I feel like it wasn't as thick feeling. So that's what that's like. Okay. And then this is the uh, sunscreen. So I'm going to put it next to it and see if I'm right about it. But I feel like I am. Now this is watery. Okay. But I feel like, I don't know if you can tell in my hand. Now obviously you're going to get more of a glowy look with it. I don't know. I just, I don't know if I like the foundation. I'm going to give it one more try and I will update you guys. But right now, I'm really disappointed. I was so excited to get this because I got a sample. Another thing I don't like, I can't use my beauty blender. I mean, I cannot. 
you guys know I use my beauty plunger for everything I tried it this is so thick that I can't you can't you have to use your fingers with it or a brush which I don't like so disappointed in that this is the lip uh, gloss from color science this has an SPF of 35 I really do enjoy using it, it has a little bit of a minty flavor to it or scent yeah it smells a little minty I do really like it it's it's not really full it's kind of a clear you know like an opaque kind of a gloss but what you could do is you could wear a lip liner and fill in your lips and put this on top really really pretty it's good to have uh, some sort of an SPF SPF on your lips especially if you're gonna be out all day by the water whatever it's good to have this so I do really like this this is one I just tested and I don't like it because it gives a white cast and I just don't like I don't like ones that, that have a white cast so this is from copper tone this is the face oil free won't run into your eyes uh, water resistant for 80 minutes broad spectrum of SPF of 50 this one right here but I don't like it because it has a damn white cast on it oh it's very yeah look at that I mean this remember it's going on your face so even on your body I don't like when you get a white cast it somewhat goes away but you can still kind of see it I don't like that I don't like sunscreens that are like that so that's a it's a no for me on that this one I bought recently and I can't remember I might have mentioned this in another video I do like this but there's some things about it I don't like I know I've shared this on my TikTok. so this is from Chanel this is the UV essential this is in uh, this has a SPF of 50 and this is a chemical sunscreen that's what it looks like one thing I like about it, I know it sounds really stupid, I like the little, I like the packaging on this. I like it, not just because it's a Chanel, but I like that it's so small like this. So, this one isn't terrible, but when you're packing, this one's nicer because it's so much tinier when you're packing, maybe to go to a beach or whatever, you know what I mean? So I like that. I do like the sunscreen, I find it to be really nice. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent to it, and unfortunately... It, it has alcohol in it, which not all alcohols are bad, but a lot of products put alcohol to add in it, and I try to avoid that, and this just says alcohol, so I don't know what kind of alcohol is in it. So because of that, I don't think I would ever repurchase it. Um, and it's too bad because I like it. Yeah, it has that, it's very, it's a strong fragrance. It goes away, but just know that, but it blends in really, really well. Really, really nice, feels nice, doesn't feel feels a little bit oily I guess I don't want to say greasy but it does have a little bit of slip to it so I feel like if you have dry skin you like it it works on my oily skin too but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it I will let you know there's a couple more here so this one I don't remember if I shared this one either this one is from La Roche Posay here's the thing I've tried some other ones from them and it made me break out like really bad so I was kind of afraid to try their sunscreens because I test a lot of sunscreens and I've never had one make me break out before until I tried La, Ro La Roche Posay and I was like and for drugstore this is like expensive this brand for drugstore that's why I always tell you guys I don't think everything in the drugstore is so cheap. I really don't. So this one from La Roche Posay, this one has a, a SPF of 60, which is kind of a weird number, isn't it? Um, dry to the touch sunscreen, advanced. It says Cello Shield, UVA, UVB protection. Water resistant, 80 minutes, fragrance free, tested on sensitive end. This isn't bad, it's okay. Um, I don't think I would get it again. I think I'm gonna rub it in here. It looks like it's going to have a white cast, but it blends out pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. It's not terrible. I don't think I would buy it again. I really, really prefer to use my color signs, honestly, over this one. But if you have oily skin, then you might want to check it out. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's okay. It's... Like I said, I just feel like their sunscreens are really, really expensive for drugstore brands. Not everything at the drugstore is cheap, that's all I can say. When you really like a sun, like if you find a sunscreen that works really good for your skin, you just stick with it, and that has been color science for me. I test other ones out for you, but this is my holy grail. This is my holy grail right here. 
This is the one that I repurchased over and over again. This didn't wow me. This didn't, I didn't use this. Go, oh my God, I gotta use that one so much better. It isn't. I'm forcing myself to use this because I want to use it up, but I'm probably not going to repurchase it. Would I recommend it? Yes, if you're looking for one, you might want to check it out. But I still like this one, but I'm just being honest. Okay. Okay, so I tested these two out and I like both of these. Um, okay, neither one of these four are for your face. This is for your body. One of them feels a little bit sticky. Um, let's get into it, okay? So they're both from Super Goop. One of them is the Glow Oil. So this is the Glow Oil. It has an SPF of 50. It's a broad spectrum. SPF 50, water resistant to 80 minutes. Maybe if you're in the rain, but you're not going to go in a swimming pool with this because you would have oil floating at the top of your pool. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Maybe in the ocean. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. But what I like is it gives your body a nice glow. That's what I like about it. It's really, really nice. So if you, if you're going here, let me spray some on my arm and I will show you. It has a decent sprayer on it. Um, and when you blend it in, I would say, I would say it's similar, a little bit of a scent to it. I don't know if this one has added fragrance. I know the other one I'm going to show you doesn't, but it blends in really well to your skin. And I don't know if you can see it, but it does. It, it gives you a little bit of a glow. It's not, it's not as glowy as the, uh, Neutrogena one. It's not, it's not as glowy as that one, but I do feel like it gives my, my arm a little bit of a glow here. Can you see the difference? You see a bruise on there, so let's ignore that. <laughs> you can kind of see the difference. See how this one looks a little bit more glowy? So you can kind of see it. it gives you a little bit of a glow, not crazy. But that's why I like this. It's a really, really nice glow. Um, on my hand, it feels greasy. I mean, you can feel it. It's an oil. You're going to kind of feel it until it gets absorbed into your skin. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it feels dry because it's an oil. You know what I mean? But I really do like this. I really do. This is something I would consider repurchasing. I really like that. But not if I'm going to go swimming. But if I'm going to be out walking around and just want to give myself a little bit of a glow and be protected, this is really, really nice. I don't think I'd wear it to the beach, though, because if it's windy in the sand, you'd have sand sticking all over you. You know, I wouldn't do that. This one I really like, but and it smells divine. This one smells divine. It smells like, it smells like lemon, like like pound cake or something. It just smells delightful, but there's no added fragrance to it. This one is called Play. This one has an SPF of 50. It's an everyday lotion. It says with sun with sunflower extract. It has an SPF of 50 PA and that has four pluses after it. I honestly don't even know what that means. Okay. Seriously. I, what, what does that even mean? I don't know. Um, it says water and sweat resistant. Again, I would not wear this if I was going in my pool, but oh my God, it smells like lemon cake. It just smells wonderful. And it's the ingredients. There's no added fragrance, but look at how this blends. Oh, it blends in blends like a dream and you will get a little bit of a glow from this too but until it absorbs it does feel a little bit sticky just a little bit until it's on you for a little bit so just know that you're not gonna like the color science when you put color science on and you blend it in and you go like this you run your hand over your skin it feels like silk it feels it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel oily it just feels your skin feels like silk this doesn't feel like that. It does have to dry. Once it dries in, like even now already, it doesn't feel so sticky. But when you first put it on, it kind of feels sticky. It smells delightful. A lot of good skincare ingredients in this one as well. I really, really enjoy this one a lot. This is a new one that, again, I wouldn't use this for swimming in the pool. This would be a nice one to wear if you were going to the beach and you wanted to have a nice sunscreen on. I think this would be nice or out walking around or whatever. This one's really, really a lovely one for the body. So those are some new current things, some sunscreens that I've tested out. I'm always looking to test more. Um, I've shared this before. I've tested some Elta MD. I know a lot of you guys really love that one. It just doesn't always work out with my skincare. I feel like every time I've tried to use it, I get all this balling going on with my skincare, and I never get that with this one. It's a really nice sunscreen, but it's not working with my with my um, with whatever I'm using on my my skincare. It's just not working with it. 
So that's unfortunate. Dermatology is a really, really nice one. Um, I do like that one. I've used it, but again, it, this one I actually purchased. Color Science sent me products. I don't even know how long it's been. Three years ago? Four years ago? That's when I first found out about it, and I actually am a customer now. I purchase it myself because I really, really love it. So let me know in the comments below. Have you tried any of these? What are your favorite sunscreens? Let me know. Would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed it, I hope that you did. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Would really appreciate it if you would share this video. You can follow me on all the socials, and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Oh my god. Jeez. Pissing me off. Okay. I freaking. What is with these spammer calls lately? It's like I have to block so many of them. They're just pissing me off. Okay. Oh my god. I'm having some. Okay. I don't really care. That's the thing about aging. It makes me not care what people think. It's really, really wonderful. Okay. I'm just going to try it like this because it's either this or I have it um, back. But we're just going to do it like this for today and we're going to be okay with it. Okay? <laughs> I might look on this and think that was a really bad choice, but today we're going to embrace it.